Namaste friends, I am Jayalakshmi Ravichandran signing in on behalf of Magic Needles. Uh, I am here with pattern 2 of the blanket and I have used uh, off-white color. This is a DK Special Yarn 100% Premium Acrylic Hash 3. It is lightweight 3 number and then the color code is 5010. This, this pattern uses single crochets and double crochets worked alternatively over 6 stitches and then on the following row we work DCs on SCs and SCs on DCs. Since we are having 302 the last stitches on either end will have to be adjusted according to the length of the blanket and the total number of stitches at every at the end of every row should be 302. So if you maintain that the blanket will be straight. For the stitch, for the second stitch, I am going to make 34 foundation DCs for, but for the blanket we have already made 302 foundation DCs and we have done completed the first pattern in it. So we need to carry forward the same 302 uh, stitches, hence uh, the, mul the multiple of this stitch also needs to be adjusted within that 302 stitches. The multiple for this stitch is uh, 6 into x multiple, 6 into x, which is, uh, uh, which can be uh, 30, 36, 42 and so on and so forth. So, this pattern is worked with multiples of 6. So, 6 stitches are done with DC, the next stitches are done with SC, 6 with DC, 6 with SC, so on and so forth. The pattern continues row after row. To begin the foundation DC, what I have done is I have just chained one. This I am going, I'm going to show you in a little different manner, the foundation DC. I just pull up this loop a bit. Let me make chain one. This holding this little loose here, I am pulling this up to the height of a DC. Twisting it, inserting in the chain one, yarn over pull through the holding it tight here, pull through the loop. So now you will have the twisted uh, loop as well as the loop that you pulled. Now yarn over, pull through the loop and the and behind the twisted uh, loop. So you will have a pattern, you will have a loop like this or a stitch like this. To complete the DC, yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the so your very first standing twisted uh, DC is made and it will give a nice edge for the even for the first row of your work. Yarn over twice, insert in the base loop of the previous stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So your second DC foundation DC is made. Then yarn over twice. Find the V at turn turn your work like this and find the V. Insert your hook underneath that V. Yarn over pull through. Yarn over pull through two. Sorry. Yarn over twice, insert in that V, yarn over pull through. Now you should be having four loops on the hook, yarn over pull through two, the base stitch is formed and the sideways yarn over pull through two, pull through two, your side DC, the DC is formed. So we need to continue like this, yarn over twice. I am doing it twice and give and pulling the base stitch through two loops to give a nice base edge, a firm base edge. So for this square, square I am making this foundation DC, this is of the foundation DCs have to be made but you need not make the foundation DCs if you are making the blanket because you have already started with foundation DC and completed one pattern that is the first pattern with white. Now you are going to follow the second pattern. I will get back to you once I finish my foundation DCs for the sample. Okay. 
your blanket has 302 stitches the pattern 2 that we are making is a multiple of 6 so 302 divided by 6 is equal to 50 plus 2 okay at the end of the at the at both the ends we need to make one extra stitch so that is if you begin with one dc then you make one two three four five six scs six dcs six axes continue till the end and when you get to the other end if you end with dcs then the last two last stitch will be an sc if you end with scs the last one will be a dc so this is how you follow the pattern and row after row you work dc over sc scs over dc i have completed the foundation dcs for the sample my sample has 34 foundation dcs because the first one also i did with 34 foundation dcs the second one also with 34 foundation dcs so the edge stitches will be different than that of the blanket for the blanket you will have two extra stitches that is one at right end and one at the left edge now just turn your work once you complete your last dc turn your work pull up the loop I am going to begin with 2 DCs at the edge because I have 34. So 30 is a multiple of 6 and the last 2, DL, two stitches on either end it's going to be different. In your blanket it's going to be single, day, single stitch. Twist again I make the twisted DC on the edge. 1, 2. Next 6 stitches are going to be 1 SC on each of them. Single crochet. 1, single crochet 2, single crochet 3, single crochet 4, single crochet 5, single crochet 6. Next day, on next 6 DCs, you are going to place 1 double crochet each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5 and 6. So once 6 DCs are made, 1 or 1 DC on each of the next 6 stitches, you roll back to 1 single crochet on each of the next 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six then six dcs or one dc each on the next six stitches one two three four five and 6. Next 6 it's going to be single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have done the last 6 stitches with single crochet hence we are going to place a DC on the next remaining stitches. We have 2 remaining stitches here. 1, and 2. This sample, we began with uh, single crochet 6 and ended with single crochet 6. But for the blanket, you have 300 stitches divided by 6 is equal to 50. 
50 is even. So if you begin with single crochets, you will end with a double crochet in the other end. Okay, for my sample, it is 30 by 6, which is 5. 5 is an odd number. So when you begin, when you have odd number of stitches, the stitch you begin with and alternate with the other stitch, you will end up with the same beginning stitch that you have made. That is, if you begin with SC, you will end with SC. If you begin with DC, you will end with DC. Whereas for the blanket, if you begin with SC, you will end with 6 DCs in the last leg. Okay, so this is the mathematical calculation for this particular blanket pattern 2. We have completed row 2 here. Turn your work, pull up the loop, your twisted edge DC. Sorry, not you will not start with the DC here because you ended with the DC here. So last two stitches you ended with the DC, you are going to begin with an SC, turn your work, just pull up a loop little bit to the height of SC, insert your hook in the very first stitch, pull out a loop, one SC, make one SC, again into the next you will make one single crochet. Now next six stitches of the previous row are single crochets, so you are going to place one double crochet on each of them. This is a simple pattern with single crochet and double crochet but it looks beautiful once you make a project out of it or make a swatch out of it or any anything you can make. You can use it for your dresses, you can use it for your sweaters, anything you can use this stitch. So, 1, 2, 3, 5 and the 6th one here. Now, you have come to the DCs of the previous rows on every DC, every DC for six DCs, you are going to place one single crochet. So, your pattern repeat is one DC on six stitches each and one single crochet on next six stitches each. So that is your pattern repeat and you are alternating this row after row. We will work DC over DC, S, uh, sorry DC over SC and SC over DC. So once you complete the pattern, the pattern will look like this. You can see the wavy effect here. Row after row, you will get that wavy effect when you work like this. So, this is a small swatch I made, a sample uh, square, 8 inch square. It is an 8 inch square because I have completed the blanket and when I am showing you this pattern 2 and every other pattern, I will be making an 8 inch swatch or 8 inch square which will be joined together finally as a big blanket. Okay, hope you enjoyed the stitch. The pattern, uh, return pattern will be found un in the description box below. Please view and subscribe to our Magic Needles channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified as and when we upload our videos. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.